Don't screw this up, and we're good. What is going on guys, this is Bill Train HD here guys and welcome back to the channel. We just hit 2,000 views today. I want to say a big thank you to everyone for coming down to watching this video. Um, this video was requested yesterday from one of my last videos I put down. His name is Larry Jiff. He asked me, you should do like drift tunes. That'd be great, by the way. Nice drifting. I said, I, I, I will, promise. So, yeah, basically. So, he put this in one of my videos on, you know, YouTube. And this was requested. So, I've never done this before. So, I figured I'd show you guys. This is, like, kind of, I guess, a 200 view special. And I'll be gladly to show you guys my drift tunes. But... I'm going to let you guys know on something. I am using the T80 Thrustmaster wheel. One of the first wheels, and it's not very expensive. Um, so, I did a few things to make this work for me. I mean, everybody's drift tune is different, but let's, let's get on with the settings, though. So, this is what I use for my uh, drift settings, as you guys can see. Comfort hard. Um, I'm gonna load the suspension though, the whole car. But this is this is my suspension settings. You guys can pause it if you want, get a good look at it. But this, I'm comfortable with these drift settings because I'm using the wheel, and I know it looks weird, but this is this is what I use. So, this is my transmission. Shit, sorry. This is my transmission. I have it set pretty much to acceleration, so I get a high rev. All of it is set to acceleration, except for the middle. I left the middle alone because it doesn't need to be messed with. And the drivetrain, I set up to 35 because this car has pretty damn good tire spin, so I didn't want to do it go all out with it. So I mean, it was good the way it is, and I'm comfortable for the way I made it. And this uh the tune settings I actually have for, for the power. Not very much, but it works. And the body. Not very much for the body. But you guys already know that. Today we are going to be drifting with uh you guys already seen it before in one of my recent videos, Chevrolet Corvette Stingray C7 2014. But before we get into the drifting, I'm going to show you guys that this is important in the drift scene too. Invert body rotability. Now, I hardly recommend when you tune your car, put this in there. It will help you. Trust me. It would help you a lot in drifting or in racing, period. Now, that's all right. Another thing that I need to tell you guys is I'm using the T8 Thrustmaster wheel. I don't drive with ABS or traction control because I don't need it. I feel as though I, I don't need it. This is how I drive or drift. But controller based setting, and it's using USB, and it feels like a controller with really no force feedback. Well, no force feedback at all. This is what I have it set on for the. Thrustmaster, sorry, Thrustmaster T80 wheel. And it feels great. But let's get into the drifting. So here we are in Special Stage 5. And that's the T80 wheel with the original pedals that came with. The 
that wall again. All right, I'm gonna change the view. I mean, this, this drift actually feels very good using the wheel. I don't know about the controller. Well, I said I used setting for the controller a while back. And this was given to this is this drift setting was given to me by one of my friends. His name was XX360, I think XX, and he has an Instagram. But I remember it's been a while. So I've been using this trip setting ever since. Bullet Train 007 tried this tune setting and he don't like it, but you know, this is not his, so of course he, he's not gonna like it. And and I don't really care, because everyone's different. So, I mean, this drip, drip setting works for everybody and sometimes it doesn't, but I mean, the cars get, the cars get very slidey, as you can tell. Wall tap. Okay. Not bad. Alright, let's try this view. We're gonna go around three times. Oh, there's my ghost. I'm getting a lot of, oh shit, angle, <laughs> with this tune, very sensitive pedal, this is Christ, a lot of horsepower, it's going to get a lot of tires, and so there's really no need to add more horsepower to it. Because I feel as though this car doesn't need that much power. It's got enough power as it is now. And this car, is very, this car has very, very good cornering. If you guys like this tune or give me your tunes, let me know what your tune is in the comment section down below. Oh my gosh, I hate it when it does that. We're gonna try different views. So, let's try the hood view. Slap. Very, very slidey car. Very slidey. Don't 
But yeah, this drift setting worked for me. I don't know if it's gonna work for you guys. And I love this drift tune. It's one of my favorites and, I've, and I'm not gonna change it. It's similar to my drag tunes, which I'm gonna do a video for that one day. If you guys wanna see it, then I mean, just let me know. Using the shifter pedals on the wheel. Just so you guys know too. Wall tap that wall again. go that's so much better so much better there we go taking it nice and slow don't overpower it Last turn. Don't screw this up, and we're good. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you need, please subscribe. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, which is found in the description box down below. This is Bullet Train HD, guys, and I hope you guys like this little 200, no, shit, sorry, 20,000K video special of my Drift Tunes. I'm out, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Like the speed of sound Feet can keep on the ground Can't stay in one place